The U.S. economy lost 140,000 jobs, and that was only in the month of December. Women, though, are bearing the brunt. Men actually gain jobs, 16,000 in all. It's a pandemic trend that is now becoming a crisis. Caroline Vandergriff tonight looking at some of the solutions. All new at 10 o'clock. A year ago, women outnumbered men in the U.S. workforce. Now, they're losing jobs at a much higher rate. Experts say the recession brought on by COVID-19 has disproportionately affected women. It sort of constitutes this perfect storm um, to really move us back away from all the gains we've had in gender equity in the labor force towards you know patterns of inequality we haven't seen for 20 or 30 years now. Many of the industries dominated by women, service jobs like healthcare, retail, and tourism have been hardest hit by the pandemic. Studies also show, on average, women do more than two times as much childcare and housework as men. Those demands have only increased with school shutdowns and limited childcare options. I mean, the fact of the matter is, is that most mothers during this time have done two jobs. They've homeschooled and care caregive their children, and they've done paid employment at the same time. The toll on women in the workforce will likely increase the gender wage gap in the years to come. So I think that it's going to be decades. I, you know, hopefully in my lifetime, we'll see it turn around. But I definitely think that it's something that we need to be thinking about and planning for. Experts say change should start within families to ease some of the burdens on women. Companies can also institute policies addressing these concerns and reevaluate their hiring and promotion decisions. And then at the sort of macro level, we talk about the role of the government, both local, state, and federal government, investing in the care infrastructure is so vitally important. A new study found states that invested more in Head Start, an early childhood development program, during the last recession had quicker economic recoveries. Experts say it shows how critical it is to make child care more accessible and affordable to help women recoup some of 2020's losses.